Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bajo's Exam Prep. My name is Naveen, and today we'll continue with our MHCET reasoning session. So the topics today we are going to cover are going to be clocks and calendars. And I uh, hope you guys have already subscribed to the channel and uh, you know press the bell notification icon so that every time we conduct a session you guys are notified about it and you join because if you you know go through all these sessions on youtube that are provided by byju's you do not have to do the revision work separately all you have to do is you can brush up the concepts some of the concepts that you haven't done so far and practice previous year questions okay so let's begin so the first topic we will be covering today is going to be calendars. So in the case of calendars, we have got certain uh, uh, formulas or the topics, right? The first one is uh, if you want to see which date is going to be D days later. So instead of D days later, you can straight away go for divide D by seven and find the remainder and only find out those many days later. You don't have to go for, you know, exactly D days. If D is 7 or more than 7, what you have to do is divide it by 7, get the remainder. That is called odd days. Okay, the second thing about the calendars is, uh, if you are talking about, uh, you know, a calendar repetition. So, a leap year calendar gets repeated after every 28 years. A leap year, a year which is one more than leap year, it's Repetition will happen after every six years and a leap year plus two or plus three such type of years calendar gets repeated after 11 years. So in 28 years a leap year calendar will get repeated once but a non leap year will get repeated thrice. Also any year gets repeated for sure after every 400 years. The next thing is, uh, uh, if you talk about the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. So the 12 months of the year. So if you want to travel, so if you want to cross any of these months, then you do not have to take 30, 31, 28, 29 days, and so on. For January month, if you want to cover it, you all you have to do is move three days ahead, which is same as dividing 31 by seven and finding out the remainder. In the case of February, if it's not a leap year, it's going to be two. If it's a leap year, it's going to be three. For March, it's going to be three. For, sorry, sorry, for February, it's going to be zero or one. For March, it's going to be three. For April, it's going to be two. For May, it's going to be three. For June, two. For July, three. August. August again 3, September 2, October 3, November 2, and December 3, right? And then there is one type of question wherein you are asked to uh, find out a day of any given random date. So if you can use the jump of 400 years or 28, 6, 11, that is pretty good enough. But if you really want to solve it, uh, you know, using the standard approach, it's going to be time consuming and you have to go through three particular tables. Out of those three tables, one table is the fourth one which I have already written. The other ones are going to be, uh, uh, you have got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. They are decoded as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 0. And uh, when it comes to years, a 100 year multiple should have an extra or an odd day of, uh, it's going to be two, 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 sorry. So it's going to be two for 200, it's going to be three, not three, It's it should be four. For uh, 300, it should be 6 and for 400, like I have already told you, it's going to be 0, right? So no extra days. So the ones that I have written in yellow, those means the extra days or the odd number of days, okay? 
So one second, uh, we have got 124, 7, 24, we will see when we will come across such a question which i said which i told you that it's lengthy we will see we will come across okay we will just i'll just verify that multiple of 100 multiple of 200 so the first question is if the day before yesterday was monday then what will day be the fifth day after tomorrow so which day will it be fifth day after tomorrow anyone Yeah, hi Mayur, hi Mayur, hi Rushikesh, hi Rutuja. So, quickly, tell me the answer and if there is going to be any concept in roll-up, I am going to discuss those. one shubham says tuesday okay what about others anyone else ritesh says friday girish says e option okay You want me to bit louder? Am I not audible? Is there an issue? Delta, Alpha, Bravo. Okay, okay. Bravo, Alpha. Okay, okay. Fine. So let's solve. Let's see, if the day before yesterday was Monday, so this is let's say today, this is yesterday and day before, if this was Monday, right, day before yesterday, today is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so today means it's Wednesday, then what will be the fifth day after tomorrow, so this is tomorrow, right, and this was yesterday, fifth day after tomorrow means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is Wednesday, this has to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and then again Tuesday. So Tuesday is what we should get the answer as. Okay, let me see what you guys have answered. Okay, so people have answered uh, Friday, Delta, Bravo and Echo as well. Five days after tomorrow guys. Okay. Try this one. In a calendar year, if there are 500 days and 9 days in a week, then how many odd days will there be in that year? So this is a this is a calendar which somebody uses where they do not have 7 days in a week. There are 9 days in a week. And in a year, there are 500 days unlike 365 or 366 days that we humans have. So we are talking about some calendar used by some alien or some other people in the uh, world. Right? Uh, different people have different calendars. The, the kind of calendars everybody uses right now in the world is known as Gregorian calendar. But there are different types of calendars. So how do you calculate odd days in our Gregorian calendar? Since there are 7 days in a week, you divide the number of days by 7 and get the remainder. Now since we have 5 days in a week, we will have to divide this number by 9 and get the remainder. In other words, 500 ko 9 sa divide karoge, to division ke baad, what remaining value or the remainder are you going to get? So if you solve this, you will be getting 5 as the answer, right? 9 into 5 is 45, then you still are left with 50, another 45, and then you are left with another 5. So 5 is the remainder, so there are 5 odd days, right? Okay, next one. If 21st of March 2000 was a Tuesday, then what day of the week will be 21st of March 2004? We are talking about four years later. 21st of March 2000, 
2000 is a leap year. 21st of March 2004, that is also a leap year. So, which day will it be? So, if you are talking out about 21st of March 2000 and this being a Tuesday, right? If we are, if you move over to the next year, same date as in 2001. So, from March to March, you are going to cross February and that February will be for the year 2001. That means that February will have only 28 days because the year 2001 is not a leap year. That means we will have to move 365 days ahead, which is same as saying we will have to move one day ahead because 365 when divided by 7 will give you remainder as 1. So this is going to be Wednesday. Using the same logic, if I move to the same date, the next year, 2002, this is going to be Thursday. Using the same logic, 21st of March 2003 is going to be Friday. 21st of March now 2004. Now, when you want to move from 2003 to 2004 and the date stays in the month of March, from March to March, you will encounter the month of February, right? That February month is going to be of the year 2004. And since 2004 is a leap year, so there won't be 365 days increment. It's going to be a 366 days increment. And 366 days is nothing but two odd days. So Friday, then you have Saturday. You'll have to skip Saturday and you will eventually stop at Sunday. So 21st of March 2004 is going to be Sunday, which is option A. And uh, everyone has answered option A. Very good. Very good. Next one. A 5th of January 2001 was a Friday. Then what day of the week was 15th of December 2001? So what you can do is you can move across the months or you can go from January 2001, say January 2002 because December to January, they are close as compared to January to December, right? So you have two different approaches. Whichever approach you would like to use, you can use it. Right? I will prefer year on jump and then moving back. So, 5th of Jan 2001, this is given to us as Friday. So, 5th of Jan 2002 is going to be which day? So, we will have to move 365 days only ahead because it's non leap year, both are not leap years. So, don't have to worry about anything. That means one extra day that will take us to. Saturday here. Now I will backtrack and I will try to move to 15th of December 2001. So 15th of December 2001 say 5th of Jan 2002 agar So how many days do I have to cross or how many days should pass? So December May 16th of December to 31st of December is what I have to move through. 16 to 31st. How many days are these? These are uh, going to be 16 days here, right? And then from 1st Jan to 5th of Jan, these are another 5 days. That means this is a total of 21 days and 21 days is nothing but 0 odd days because 21 is perfectly divisible by 7. That means whatever 15 December 2001 is going to be, whichever day of the week, same day of the week is going to be 5th of December, no, sorry, 5th of Jan. 5th of Jan is already no, uh, you know, known to be Saturday. So that will force 15 of December to also be a Saturday. So this Saturday ho jata. It is relatively easier because I have to do only two calculations and two breakups rather than from January to February, February, March, March, April and so on. That will be more time consuming, isn't it? So we get the answer as Saturday. Let's see how many of you have answered Saturday. Oh, oh, no, not a lot. See, 5th Jan, see, the other approach is if 5th of Jan is Friday, so January, may how many days do I have to cross? So, if I talk about January, it's going to be 6th of January to 31st of January. How many days are these? 6th, say 31st. So, you never include the day on which you are standing. Okay, the date given is never included. The date on which you have to reach is always included. Remember this rule. So, sorry, 6th to 31st. So, 
6 to 31st is going to be 31 minus 5, which is going to be 26. So this is 26 days, right? 26 days is same as 5 odd days. Next, February khatam karne ka hai. February will have 28 days, right? So this is going to give us uh, uh, 0 odd days. Now, if I talk about March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then December. So if I talk about March, it's going to be 3, April, it's going to be 2, May 3, June 2, July 3, August 3, September 2, October 3, November 2, December, not the entire month. For the case of December, we only have to go up to 15th of December. So that's 15 odd days. 15 odd days is same as one odd day. So let's now add the remainders. 5 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 and then divide this by 7 to find the number of odd days. So if you happen to add this, this is going to be uh, 7 and 7 and 7 and uh, number was 2, right? Ek bar check karne do. So this is uh, 5 plus 6, 7. Then you have got uh, 5 plus 6, 7. Then you have got 6 plus 1, 7. Hold on. If you are a 15th of December is Saturday and we have need to move to 5th of Jan. So that is 21 days ahead. December was 16 days and uh, 5th of Jan was 5 days. So 21 days before that. Did I make any calculation mistake here? 15th of December, right? 5th of Jan, 6th day, 31st, that is 31 minus 5, which is 26 days. That is perfect, which gives us 5 odd days. March is 3, April is 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. 3 nahi, that's 15. 15 means 1. So we have 10 here. We have 11 here. We have 8 here. 20, why am I getting 1 in this case? Achha, theek hai. So if you add all of this, you are going to get 1 odd day. 1 odd day means if 5th Jan 2001 was a Friday, then 5th Jan, uh, so 15 December 2001 is going to be Saturday, because one day So in either case, we will get the same answer, okay? So I was making some calculation mistake. I was thinking it was not turning out to be Saturday. So Saturday is going to be your answer. If you guys have got a different answer, there, there would be some calculation mistake or you may have included a date that you were not supposed to. Okay, next one. If the day on 12 December 2012 was a Wednesday, then what was the day on 11th November 2011? Very similar to the previous one. What you need to do is go to the previous day with date which is 11th November 2011 and you have to go up to 12th of December 2012. So 11th November 2011 to 11th November 2012 tak From November to November same date. Okay don't go up to 10th November go up to 11th November. Same date we have to move either 365 or 366 days since 11 to 12 you will encounter February and that February will be of the year 2012. And 2012 is a leap year, so February will have one extra day. So that means we will have to move 365 days ahead, which is equivalent to move, sorry, 366 days ahead, which is equivalent to moving two days ahead, right? Okay, from 11th November 2012 to 12 December 2012. So if you talk about the month of November, we have to go from 12th to 30th November, right? November has only 30 days. Remember that. So how many days is this? 12th like 30th. So that is 30 minus 11, which is going to give us 19 days. Now 19 days is equivalent to 19 divided by 7. That will give you a 5 extra day, which is 5 odd days. 12th of December, 
you have to reach up to 12 December. So that is 12 days here and 12 days is nothing. But this is going to be another five extra days. So if you look at the total number of odd days, this is 12 odd days and 12 odd days is same as five odd days. So if you want to move five ahead, that is same as saying two days behind because there are seven days in a week, right? If you want to go to a day, which is five days from today, it's same as going back two days, right? Okay. So since it was a Wednesday, we need to go two days back. So two days back is going to be Tuesday and then it's going to be Monday. So that if that was Monday, Achha, wo already behind hi ja hai na? So that would mean two days ahead. So Wednesday, then it will be Thursday and then that's going to be Friday. So Friday becomes your answer. See, the calculation that I have done, if it's 11th November is a particular day, uh, 11th November 2011. So 11th November 2011 is a particular day. Then 12th of December 2012 is going to be some day which is going to be 5 days ahead. Right? So 5 days ahead to ulta agar jana hai so you will have to go five days behind. Five days behind is same as going two days ahead. So that's why I moved two days ahead. So if this says Wednesday, this one is going to be two days ahead, which will be Friday. Yeah, Friday to Wednesday, chalo. Don't you think from Friday when you move to Wednesday, that's actually five days ahead, right? So Charlie becomes your answer. What you guys have given Delta and Echo and Saturday? No. It's, it's Friday. Okay, the next one. If Christmas was celebrated on Wednesday in the year 2019, on which day was it celebrated in the year 2020? So, I don't care about the date of the Christmas, whether it is 24, 25th, 26th of December, though we already know, but we know that it's the month of December, right? So, any particular date, in the month of December 2019 to the same date in the month of December in the year 2020, if this was a Wednesday, then which day will it be? So year to year, if you check, you are moving from a non-leap year to a leap year. So you are going to cross the month of February because we are moving from December to December. So February will have 29 days. That means we will have to move 366 days ahead, which is same as moving two days ahead. Since this is already given as Wednesday, either se do din aage jane ka. So Wednesday is there, Thursday, that's the next day and plus two will be Friday. So you will get Friday again. So you get the same answer and the same change in the days as compared to the previous question. Yeh is previous bhi Okay, next one. Calendar repetition. Which of the following years has the same year as that of 2001? 2001 is a year which is one more than leap year. One more than leap year, calendar repetition happens after how many years? It happens after six years. So 2001 ka calendar, six years later, 2007 mein, phir se So we say that the calendar of the year 2001 and calendar uh, of the year 2007 are going to be exactly same. Okay. Next, if a year starts on Saturday, then what can be the maximum possible number of Mondays in that year? Say, a year may have 365 days or a year may have 366 days. 365 days means 52 weeks and one odd day, one extra day. 366 days ka matlab hota hai 52 weeks and two odd days. Now, it says Saturday se shuru ho raha hai. So, if the day starts on Saturday, so Saturday to Friday, Saturday to Friday, Saturday to Friday, that's seven days of a week, as in the entire week will happen 52 times. And this one odd day is going to be a Sunday, right? 
क्योंकि वी हैव नॉट संडे सॉरी इट्स गोइंग टू बी सैटरडे ओनली बिकॉज वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम सैटरडे टू फ्राइडे सैटरडे टू फ्राइडे ऐसे चल रहा है ना सो सैटरडे टू फ्राइडे सैटरडे टू फ्राइडे इट विल अगेन एंड इन सैटरडे If we have two odd days, so it's going to be Saturday and Sunday. So it doesn't matter whether we are talking about a non-leap year or a leap year. Saturday will occur fifty-three times. In the case of non-leap year, Sunday will occur fifty-two times. In the case of a leap year, Sunday will occur fifty-three times, and every other day will occur exactly fifty-two times. Since we are talking about a mon about Monday, which doesn't exist here. So Monday is going to happen fifty-two times precisely because of those fifty-two weeks. Let's see. Bravo and Del Delta is the answer. Delta is the answer, as in Grisha has answered it correctly. Yes, it's not Bravo. They go fifty-two to her day in a year at least those many times they come. They they uh, occur at least fifty-two times for sure. It may be fifty-two or fifty-three. depending upon which is the first day of a year right next one which day of the week was 15th of august 1947 now if you want to solve this so i want you guys to give it a try and see how to solve this one I think it was five, ten, and fifteen. Let's think. E A E E A. So you guys may have already solved this question so many times that you would already know that it was a Friday. I believe it was a Friday. Okay, so I'm I'll change this because this is trying out to be one twenty four and one twenty four is nothing but one hundred and nineteen plus five, right? So this is plus five. This is plus ten. This is plus fifteen. Fifteen means one, and ten ki jaga. I'm going to write this as three. So what you have to do is remember these three tables. Ye wala, ye wala, or ye wala. ठीक है? We are going to use these three tables to solve this question. Instead of fifteenth uh, uh, August, had this been any particular uh, date, and instead of nineteen forty-seven, suppose had it been eleven seventy-two, tab bhi ho jata. so there are steps involved so the first one is if you want to reach up to 15th of august 1947 instead of that we are saying since the beginning of ad to 31st of december 1946 plus 
1st of Jan 1947 to 15th of August 1947. So this is how we, we will start with the breakup. We will start from the beginning of AD, okay, since the beginning of the Gregorian calendar. Udhar se until the last year, 1946 tak, because we are dealing with, uh, in the year, we are, we are looking at the year 1947, okay, so don't take 1947, go up to 1946. And then first then 1947 to 15, as in we are, we'll be only talking about this particular year. Now, if you look at uh, this particular year, so how many odd days are we going to have? Not this particular year, as in this entire duration. So the year 1946, you will have to break it down as a multiple of 400. So can I write 1946 as 400 into 4? That is 1600 years. Then you're left with 346 years. 346 years means 300 into 1 plus 46. So this is the breakup of 1946 years. Now 400, instead of 400, what number shall I write? So for that, you will have to go through this table. For 400, you will have to write 0. For 300, you will have to write 1 and so on and so forth. So for 400, it's going to be 0 into 4. For 300, it's going to be 1 into 1. Plus, you will write down this number 46. Plus, you will divide this 46 by 4 and take the greatest integer function. Greatest integer means if there is a after, anything after point, you're going to ignore it. 46 by 4 is 11 point something, right? 44 by 4 is 11. So 46 by 4 is 11 point something. 11 point something ka GIF is going to give you 11. So we are going to add all of this. So this is going to be 1 plus 46 plus 11. You can add them or find the remainder by dividing these by 7 and then add. Doesn't matter. So if I add this, this is 47 plus 11, which is 58, right? So I will straight away write 58 and 58 can be treated as 7 ke table mein 56 tak jayenge. So can we say 2 or days? So from the beginning of Gregorian calendar until the year 1946, the last date, 31st December, tab tak two odd days ke hoga. The next step is, we will go from 1st of January to 15th of August. Now, if I want to go until 15th of August, uh, the August is not completely over, right? So I will break it down until July, previous month. So this further gets broken down from 1st January 1947 to 31st of July 1947 and then 1st of August 1947 to 15th of August 1947. Okay. Why? Because the August month is not yet over. And why did we break it before? Because the year 1947 was not completely over. Okay. Now, if we talk about this particular scenario, so this is the second part. Sorry. So this is the second stage. So if you look at this, January to July, how many days have passed? For this, we will have to go and look into this next calendar, which was the month wala calendar. Okay. So January is going to be three odd days. February 1947, February will have zero odd days. March will have three. April will have two. May will have three. June will have two. And July will have three. Which is same as uh, two plus two plus three is seven. Three plus three plus three is nine. Nine matlab two odd days. So this is also going to give us two odd days. Okay. Then we will look into the last component, which is August wala month. In the August month, there are 15 days, right? And 15 days is nothing but it's going to give us one odd day when you divide it by seven. Next, what you have to do is you have to add all the odd days. If you add all the odd days from the beginning until the year 1946, all the months before that, before the given date and the given date. Tak. So you will get five odd days. Now this five represents what? So is five go, you are going to use the third table now. 
and search where 5 lies. As in, what does the number 5 denote in the table? 5 denotes Friday. So, that's what you will have. So, like I said, I really don't like these types of questions because they are not quick. They take some time and you will have to be very fluent in all the three tables. Okay. Chalo. Next, which of the following year starts and ends on the same day of the week? Currently, we are at 2023, right? 2023 ka first jan pata hai kitna hota hai? Which day was it? First jan 2023, which day was it? Anyone who remembers? Okay, it was a Sunday. So, first jan 2024, which is a leap year, but February has not yet been encountered. We'll have to move 365 days ahead, which is same as one day ahead. So, this is going to be a Monday. Right? No doubt about it. Agar 1st Jan 2024 is Monday. So, what about 31st of December, the day before it, 2023? Isn't this going to be back to Sunday? Tabi to next day Monday hoga. So, a non-leap years, 1st Jan and 31st December are always going to fall on the same day of the week. Non-leap year. But if it's a leap year, it won't. Because ab ek day extra hai. So that Monday will also be a part of the same year and Tuesday becomes the first Jan of the next year. So the year has to be a non-leap year in order for it to showcase this condition, right? Starts and ends on the same day. Since all the years given are leap years, koi bhi answer nahi hai. So the answer is going to be none of the above. Okay? Okay, topic two, clocks. Before this, I want everyone to please uh, like the video because that's all we need, right? Quick, quick, quick. Everyone, please like the video. Thank you. Thank you. I want more likes. Okay, thank you. Fine. So, let's move ahead. Clocks. So, when it comes to clocks, uh, now there are uh, certain concepts or certain formulas, whatever you would like to call them, you should remember. The first thing is for the nth meet, the time will always be n into 1 hour. Um, 5 minutes and 5 by 11 minutes. Suppose if the question asked is, at what, what is the time when the hour hand and minute hand of a clock they meet for the sixth time? Chatti bar milte. So the value of n over here is 6. So you multiply it by 6, you will get the time. 6 into 1 hour means 6 pm. 6 into 5 minutes means 30 minutes. 6 into 5 by 11 means 30 by 11. 30 by 11 is an improper fraction. Convert it into a uh, mixed uh, mixed fraction or vulgar fraction. Right? Take integral part. Le karo. So, 30 by 11 will become 2 8 by 11. So, take that integral part 2 to back to 30 minutes. Okay? So, this is what I meant when I wrote this particular formula. Second is, what are the, uh, what is the time when the hands are at a certain angle? Or vice versa, if the angle is given, what is the time given? Okay. So time given hai, angle pata karna hai. If the angle is given, time pata karna hai. For both these cases, you have only one formula. The formula is that the angle between hands is given as mod of 30 degrees into hour wala hand minus 5.5 degrees into minute wala hand and mod closed. So, angle is given, you know what to put. And if time is given, you know what to put. Okay. Third, about the meet. How many times the hour and minute meet in 12 days, uh, in 12 hours, in 24 hours, in 72 days and so on and so forth. 
So whatever time is given to us, you should always remember that it should be in the table of 12 hours in order to answer. Okay. So any angle which is 0 degree or 180 degree, they meet 11 times. So we are talking about in 12 hours. You can do this for calculation. Kar sakte ho. Not 8 hours, not 6 hours, not 10 hours. 12 ka multiple. And any angle which is not 0 degree or 180 degree, the answer is going to be 22 times in every 12 hours. So if you remember this, you will be able to solve any of the uh, question related to how many times they meet, how many times they are perpendicular, how many times they are pointing in the same direction, how many times they are collinear and so on and so forth. All the questions are going to be solved using the third one. Okay. The fourth is about fast and slow clock. If you're talking about a fast clock, the fast clock means something that gains time. And if you're talking about a slow clock, slow clock is something that loses time. Right? So fast clock, mein what you do is you take the ratio of the normal clock is to whatever this clock is fast. So 60 plus F, jitna bhi minutes hai. In the case of slow, you will take the ratio of 60, which is normal clock time, and minus slow wala jitna bhi minutes hai. Using this ratio, you can find out how many hours, minutes, uh, you know, at what time it will show the right uh, time the, with the faulty clock. The faulty clock is how many hours ahead or behind the normal clock. The normal clock is how many hours behind or ahead of the faulty clock. Kuch bhi puchha jayega, only this ratio is going to help you with it. Right? So these are the four very important things when it comes to clocks and calendars. Not calendars, sorry, clocks. Let's look at each of these questions. The first one is, at a particular instance, if the mirror image of the clock is showing 8 hours 30 minutes, then what will be the mirror edge of the mirror image, sorry, of the same clock after 2 hours? Okay, so one more thing is there, mirror image. So if you're talking about the mirror image, the sum of actual time and mirror image time should be 11, 59, 60. And if you are talking about milliseconds, so you can again write 59 and 60. Do jo time hoga, unka sum hours ka 11 hona chahiye, minutes ka 59 and seconds ka 60 hona chahiye. If seconds doesn't exist, then hour and minutes, the sum of the hands should be 11 and 60. If the millisecond also exists, so hour, minute, second, millisecond should be 11, 59, 59. And uh, milliseconds is in hundreds, right? So this should be 100. Milliseconds questions, they are very rare. So you can ignore it. You should remember these two. Okay. So this is mirror image all the case. So what do you think the answer will be for this? Thank you, Girish. The mirror image is showing 8 hours 30 minutes. If the mirror image is showing 8 hours 30 minutes, what is the actual time? Anyone? The sum should be 1160, right? So 1160, for in order for this to be 30, so this should be 30. And for this to be 11, this should be 3. So, 3.30 is what the actual time is. Two hours later, what will be the actual time? The actual time two hours later is going to be 5.30 now. Right? I am using a different color marker so that you can understand uh, we are dealing with a new scenario. If the actual is 5.30, what would be the mirror one now? Right? So, the mirror one should be such that the sum is going to be 11.60 now. So 30, 60, this should become 30 and 5 plus 6 is 11. So the mirror should show 6 hours and 30 minutes. Okay. Next is how many degrees will the hour hand cover in the same time in which the minute hand covers 54 degrees. So what is the speed of an hour hand? 
and our hand moves 30 degrees every 60 minutes. And what is the speed of the minute hand? Minute hand moves 360 degrees every 60 minutes. Right? So, 60 minutes is as in the time, 60, 60, they are same. Why is it time? Minutes, time we to denote karte. So, every hour, the minute hand will move 360 degrees. It will complete one rotation. While the hour hand will only move from one particular number, pointing towards in uh, a particular number to the next number, which only makes a 30 degree angle. Right? So, if we talk about the ratios, what is the ratio of the angles that they cover in the same time? So can I say the ratio of the angle that they cover is 1 is to 12 because 12 into 3 is 36. So if 1 is to 12, hai, so if it tells, uh, if this tells us that the minute hand covers 54, so what shall I write over here so that 1 by 54 is also 1 by 12? Right? Kiss number ka 12 times 54 hota hai. So 4 into 12 is 48. But since this is 54, which is 6 more than 48, right? Can I write 54 as 48 plus 6? And 48 is nothing but 4 into 12 plus 6. 6 is 0.5 into 12. So can I take out 12 common and say this is 4.5 into 12? So instead of uh, 54, if I write 4.5 into 12, to upar bhi 4.5 hona chahiye so that it becomes 1 by 12. Makes sense, right? So this should be 4.5 anyways. So Charlie becomes your answer. Okay, next one. At what angle the hands of a clock are inclined at 15 minutes past 6? 15 minutes past 6 ka matlab hai 6.15. So we need to find out the angle between them. Right? 6.15. It's going to be a little over 90 degrees, isn't it? Okay. This is the value of H. This is the value of M. Let's put it in the formula. 30 degrees into 6 minus 5.5 degrees into minute. And this is the angle we are going to get between the two hands. So this is going to be 180 degrees minus 5.5 into 15. What we can do is... Uh, this is 55 and 27.5. So this is going to be 70, 82.5. So this is going to be 82.5 degrees. So I multiplied 5.5 into 10 and 5.5 into 5. Okay. So 180 minus 80 is 100. 100 minus 2.5 is 97.5 degrees. So 97.5 is what you get. So, bravo becomes our answer. Very good, bravo. How 11.30? Uh, Kathak girl. Where did I write 11.30? Which question are you talking about? I wrote 11.60, right? It's not 11.30. 11.60. 11 hours and 60 minutes is same as 11 hours and an hour, which is same as 12 hours, you know? Okay, the next one. What is the angle between the minute and hour hand of an analog clock when the time is 11 hours 10 minutes? So, we know the value of H, we know the value of M. Let's put it in the formula. So, angle is going to be 30 degrees into 11 minus 5.5 degrees into 10. So, this is going to be 330 degrees minus 55 degrees. 330 minus... Uh, uh, 330 minus 30 is 300, minus 25 is 275 degrees. Now, you don't see 275 in the option. So, either we made a calculation mistake or they are trying to, uh, they are trying to figure out some other way to find the answer. Well, if we have an angle like this between two things, so either we can calculate this angle or we can calculate the smaller one. Since this angle is more than 180 degrees, we have found out this angle. Since we need this particular angle, so we will have to subtract this from entire 360. Because if this is theta, so this has to be 360 minus theta, right? Basic geometry. 
So this is going to be 60 plus 25, which is going to give us 85 degrees. So 85 is our answer, right? So since we got the final answer, the angle, which is an obtuse angle, which is more than 180 degree, right? Not obtuse actually, this is more than 180, obtuse to 90 is a bit We have got an angle which is more than 180. So that's why we are trying to find out the smaller angle. For that, we'll have to subtract it from 360, right? Okay, next, at what time between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock will the hands of the analog clock coincide? They are together. If you remember the formula, nth time meet karne ka formula, n, n into, now n into karna hai, so whatever time it will be between 4 and 5, whenever the hands are going to be made, time kya aur hoga? 4 baj kar kuch minute, 4 some minutes, so don't, can we say the time is 4? 4 means the value of n is 4 here. 4 into 1 hour, 5 minutes, 5 by 11 minutes. So this is going to give us 4 hours, 4 into 5, 20 minutes, and 4 into 5, 20 by 11 minutes. Now, 4 hours, vaise hi can I write 20 by 11 minutes as 1, 9 by 11 minutes as mixed fraction? Since this is integral, this will go with its integral portion, fractional elixir, right? So this, these 20 minutes now will change to 21 minutes because of the one from here. And then we are left with nine by 11 minutes. So this is what should be the answer. Looking at the options, we are pretty sure it's Charlie because it matches perfectly all the values. 21 minutes, 21, nine by 11, ko 21, nine by 11 will accept it. It's the same thing. Right? Okay. Not a lot of you are answering. Why is that so? Sub Shan bed game. Are you guys not fluent in clocks? Because calendars you guys wear. Okay, next one is at what time between five o'clock and six o'clock will the minute and the hour end of the clock make an angle of 50 degrees? Now, whatever time it will be between 5 and 6 o'clock, the hands are going to be at an angle of 50 degree. Can we say that the time is going to be 5 something? So, we know the value of H. We don't know the value of M. We know the value of angle. Putting it in the formula, we will get 50 degrees is equal to 30 degrees into hour minus 5.5 degrees into minute which will give us mod of 150 degrees minus 5.5 degrees into m. Now, how do you solve questions on mod? You can remove the mod, put a bracket instead of it. But when you do so, you are forced or you can only put a bracket if you put a plus minus sign before it. Now, you get two equations from here. The first one is when 50 degrees is equal to plus of 150 degrees minus 5.5 degrees into m. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and the next one is 50 degrees is equal to minus 150 degrees minus 5.5. As in one equation with a plus before the bracket, the other equation with a minus before the bracket. That's how you solve modulus questions. Now, if you solve this, you will get m is equal to 100 by 5.5, which is same as 200 by 11. And this is going to be uh, 18, 2 by 11, right? If we solve the next one, we will have 200 by 5.5. That's what we will have. 200 by 5.5 is going to be 400 by 11. And 400 by 11 is going to be uh, is cut double, which is going to be 36, 4 by 11. Looking at the answers, 5, 18, 2 by 11 exist. 36, 4 by 11 is not in the option, but since we have to mark only one option, so we'll have to mark Bravo. We don't have any other way around it. We can't not, we cannot mark Bravo and say none of the above, because there no time. One option answer match so to mark it. We can't skip that. Right? So Bravo becomes our answer. 
दो आ रहा होगा शुभम एक थर्टी सिक्स और एक एटीन सी The two hands of a clock, if they are going to meet, तो मिलने से पहले there will be a certain angle and after meeting there has to be a same angle. So दो बार होता है हमेशा. So you'll get two answers, right? That was kind of expected. But what are those two values? We will have to check that. Thirty six four by eleven is not in the option. Eighteen two by eleven is there, so that's why we'll mark that. Okay, next one. A watch which loses uniformly was observed to be four minutes fast at nine a.m. on Monday and two minutes slow at three p.m. the next day. Excuse me. When did the watch show the correct time? Now uh, we can use the ratio or we can use pure common sense. It ratio he करेंगे but not the ratio that we discussed at the beginning. So since it loses, loses means it's getting slower and slower and slower. Initially it was ahead of the actual time. So, if you are talking about a normal clock, and then we are talking about this faulty clock, when normal clock was nine a.m., it was showing on Monday. So, usi Monday ko this faulty clock was four minutes fast, as in it showed nine four a.m. And then the next day. That is uh, on Tuesday at three p.m. So the, when the normal clock showed three p.m. on Tuesday, this faulty clock showed it was three minutes, two minutes slow. Two minutes slow का मतलब है it showed two fifty eight p.m. on Tuesday. So question is when did the watch show the correct time? So correct time कब दिखाओगे? Right? So what first step is we will see how many hours have elapsed Monday 9 a.m. to Tuesday 3 p.m. कितने घंटे हो गए So if you are talking about 9 a.m. Monday to 9 a.m. Tuesday that's 24 hours and 9 a.m. Tuesday to 3 p.m. Tuesday that is another six hours nine to three right six hours So this is a total of 18 hours duration that the time has elapsed इस 18 hours में चार पीछे जाते जाते Sorry, it was four ahead. Now it is two behind. That means I will have to divide eighteen in the ratio two is to one. Okay, I'll have to divide eighteen in the ratio two is to one. As in, I'll have to divide eighteen in three parts. Three parts. Each part is going to be six hours, six hours, six hours. Out of which two parts denotes two six hours, and one part denotes one six hours. So this is where the clock will be showing the correct time, which is twelve hours from nine a.m. or you can say six hours. Sorry, twenty-four plus six is thirty hours. I'm sorry. I just realized twenty-four plus six is thirty hours. So I have to divide thirty in the ratio of two is to one, which will result in ten, ten, and ten. You know. So it's either twenty hours from nine a.m. Monday or 10 hours before 3 pm you can use either of the reference so we are at 9 am on monday and we have to move 20 hours if we move 24 hours it will be 9 am tuesday but i don't want to move 24 hours i only want to move 20 hours so that's 4 hours less so this is going to be 5 am tuesday so 5 am tuesday is 20 hours from 9 am monday or It is also ten hours behind three p.m. Tuesday. दोनों में से कोई भी reference, like I said. Okay, so this is how you solve questions when at a particular time a clock was ahead or behind, and later on it was behind or ahead. You find the entire interval divided in the ratio, whatever ahead or behind they were. Yeah, happy winters, my Yurish. Okay, so five p.m. Next one. How many times the hands of a clock are perpendicular to each other in a day? In a day means in twenty-four hours. How many times are they perpendicular? We know that every twelve hours they are perpendicular twenty-two times. Perpendicular means ninety degrees. Since this is not zero or one eighty, so ninety होगा. 
तो ट्वेल्व आवर्स में ट्वेंटी टू टाइम्स हो जाता है तो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स में कितना होगा डबल डबल ऑफ एवरी थिंग ट्वेंटी टू इंटू टू फोर्टी फोर नेक्स्ट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दी हैंड्स ऑफ ए क्लॉक कॉइंसाइड विथ इच अदर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ए मंथ एट नाइन ए एम टू फोर्थ ऑफ द सेम मंथ टिल थ्री पी एम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर डे दैट्स नाइन ए एम राइट to second day of the month 9 am so this is 24 hours right similarly second 9 am second date okay this first second yes some days date so second 9 am say third 9 am that is another 24 hours then third 9 am say fourth ke 9 am that is again 24 hours and then fourth ke 9 am se leke fourth ke 3 pm tak this is not 24 hours but this is may 6 hours so this is 24 hours this is 24 hours this one is 24 hours but this one is only 6 hours for this 6 hours there is no direct formula right we will have to kind of manually and patiently verify as to how many times it will be since we are talking about coinciding as in the angle being 0 degrees so we know that in every 12 hours it happens 11 times so in 24 hours it's going to happen 22 times 22 times 22 times for every 12 hours 24 hours in every one day now what about these six hours so for that this is what 9 am is going to look like and this is what 10 a.m. is going to look like. So, if the minute hand has to come back to its original position, will it be able to come back without crossing the hour hand? As how sakta hai, yeah? Nein. So, it will be crossing once between 9 and 10. Okay? Ek bar hoga. Now, between 10 and 11 o'clock. So, 11 o'clock, this is what the hands will look like. So, again, if you look at minute hand coming back, Minute hand has to take a rotation and come back and our hand is somewhere in the middle without crossing it, without making an angle of zero degree, it will never be do that. So this is again going to happen. Now between 11 and 12. So 12 o'clock, this is what the hands are going to look like. So from 11 to 12, when the minute hand has to cross, they do meet and they do meet here. Either meet karte. Okay. Now between 12 and 1, so this is going to look like this. So this was 11, this was 12, this was 12. This is 12 and this is 1. So 1 o'clock, this is what it will look like. Now if you look at the minute hand, it moves ahead and it comes back. It never gets a chance. To meet so between 12 and 1 the hands do not meet between 1 and 2 they will meet it will be a mirror image of what happened from 9 to 12 exactly same thing is going to happen from 12 to 3 but 12 to 1 ke beech mein nahi milenge wo. right so this is what 2 o'clock is going to look like if you look at the minute hand it will cross the hour hand then only it will reach back okay so here we will get and between 2 and 3 of course, they are again going to meet. Without meeting, they can't do that. So, there are a total of 6 hours from 9 to 10, 10 to 11. So, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. 6 hours. Out of these 6 hours, ek bar nahi hota. If you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 times this happens. So, this is 66 plus 5, which will give us 70 times. 71 times when the hands coincide or they meet or they make an angle of zero degree. Same thing, different English words and phrases. I hope this is clear. If you are, if you, if any one of you is facing difficulty when, when it comes to clocks, you guys must be having analog clock or wall clock in your house, right? Usko utaro, take out the uh, cell from it, if, if it works on cell. And then just move around the hands and see how many times it happens. All you have to do is spend 30-40 minutes and you will understand a lot about clocks.
that's all so before you guys leave make sure that uh, uh, you press the like button and if possible please press the subscribe button so cat 2023 comprehensive program a new batch has just started i have taken one session and that's all has happened so it started this week itself so if anyone wishes to join for this year's cat you are uh, very much welcomed what all things do we provide you with we provide you with uh, more than 300 hours of engaging videos sorry more than 300 engaging videos which is above 130 hours we provide you with more than 200 hours of live classroom sessions where we discuss not only questions like these but we also discuss the entire concept okay we'll provide you with more than 75 mocks which are related to cat as well as other entrance exams uh, other management entrance exams you will be provided with more than 10,000 practice questions. You will be provided with more than 300 engaging videos, which will be in the recorded format. Uh, we will help you with uh, your GDPI and VAT preparation. Okay. And then you will be provided with previous year questions and uh, proper books and booklets, which you can practice in the offline mode. And uh, in order to join that, if you want a scholarship, you can avail up to 90% scholarship, but for that, you will have to write a scholarship test. For a scholarship test, the date is 18th of February at 7 p.m. You guys can register. We have provided more than a 1 crore of uh, scholarship to over 27,000 students so far. 11th of February at 7 p.m. Mr. Srinivas is going to discuss about how to manage CAT preparation with job and studies and he's also going to help you understand how to devise your test taking strategy. Okay, so everyone please make sure that you register for this in order to join. The link to registration is given in the chat as well as in the description below. And uh, every day from 11th, uh, uh, 11th February to 19th February, uh, of course there is only one mock. So um, an op already open mock has been uh, you know put forward wherein uh, you can attempt this mock and get the real feeling about how a proper MH CET entrance exam looks like right so it will help you devise the strategy you will be getting the video solutions so that is got so going to definitely help the window for the exam is going to be 11 February to 19 February for this also you will have to register for this also it is uh it's flooded in the chat and it's there in the description below make sure that you subscribe our channel anyone who is watching also make sure that you uh, follow us on uh, uh, instagram the instagram page name is badgers underscore exam prep underscore mba you can like our facebook page which is badgers exam prep mba you can join our telegram channel for a quick uh, you know notification about which all sessions are happening and if you have any queries about colleges and admissions the uh, telegram channel is badgers exam prep for mba and you can download our app from google play it's free of cost you can watch hundreds of videos all for free of cost all you have to do is download well thank you thank you everyone for joining make sure that you like and subscribe before you leave i'll meet you soon Take care until then. Bye bye. No, 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 don't put digital clock. Digital clock is not worth the preparation. Okay. Chalo. Bye bye.